Hey, what's up everyone? And this is Kirk here again at Option Alpha. And tonight we're gonna talk about three ways that you can build a 70% probability of success trade. And the whole idea here is that we're trying to build trades that have directional assumptions in any three directions, meaning bullish, bearish, or neutral, but also have a really high probability of success. And this is actually a lot easier to do than people think. People overcomplicate this all the time. So here's how you basically do it, right? So let's say that you've got a stock that's moving, right? And it doesn't matter where the stock is, right? But the stock is, you know, at X point right here. There's three ways you can build out a trade. The first way is if you want to be bullish on the stock. And in that case, what you would do is you would build a put debit spread, I'm sorry, put credit spread below the market. So you would sell a put spread somewhere below where the stock is trading. So let's say the stock is trading at $50. You would sell a put at say $45, and then you might buy another put option at say $44. And let me just slide this up so you guys can see this a little bit better. Right, So you would sell one put option here and you would buy the other put option here creating this put credit spread. Now in this case, you could figure out exactly where this put options uh, probability of success is and basically build a 70% probability of success trade that wins because the stock could go sideways, could move higher or could even go lower. But as long as it doesn't go below your short strike at 45, you would win. So that's a bullish type of a setup. Now, the other way that you could do it, and let me just get another piece of paper here so you guys can see this. I feel like a teacher back in like the old days where they used to do like the overhead projectors. But let's say that again, the stock is just moving, whatever the case is, right? And the stock is at $50. The other way that you could do it is to set up a call credit spread. So in this case, you would do the total opposite. You would sell a call somewhere above where the stock is trading. So let's say the stock is trading at $50 right here. You would sell a call at 55 and maybe you buy a call option at 56 and you just create that spread. So these are call options up here, right? And again, you can set this up so it has a 70% chance of success. It's very easy to find these. It's just in your broker platform. We've got a lot of videos on this at Option Alpha. So you can just find the exact strike price for whatever month you're trading that has a 70% chance of being out of the money. You sell that strike price and then you buy something else beyond it to create a risk-defined position, right? So in this case, again, the stock has a 70% chance of making money because all you want it to do is close below 55, right? The stock can rally, it can go sideways, it can go down, but as long as it closes below 55, then you end up making money in this scenario, okay? Now, the last way that you can build out a trade that has a 70% chance of success is to go neutral. Now, this is one of the favorite ways that I like to do it is I like to just trade most of my stuff neutral. So wherever the stock is, again, let's say it's at $50, now, instead of doing something $5 above or $5 below and then picking a directional assumption, what you want to do instead is you are going to have to go a little bit further out above the market and a little bit further out below the market. And maybe we go down to, let's say, the 43 strike put options and we go up to, let's say, the 57 strike call options, right? So now what we've done is instead of making a directional assumption that the stock is going to go generally higher or generally lower, now we're making an assumption that the stock is just going to stay within this range. And again, it's very easy to figure out the probability of success of each of these different strike prices, right? And then you can determine the inside range probability. So 70%, 80%, whatever you want to do, right? So the whole idea here is that you can make a trade in any direction that you want. You can make a trade so that you win if the stock goes higher, if it goes sideways, if it goes lower, or you can just trade the whole thing neutral and say, look, I don't care where the stock goes as long as it's between 57 and 43, then I want to make money, right? And that's a strategy that you can build out. That's kind of the structure that we like to use here at Option Alpha is just to do most of our stuff kind of uh, non-directional or neutral in trading. Now, the whole idea here and just kind of like showing you guys all this is, again, is that market direction, okay, is meaningless if you are making lots of trades, okay? Direction is meaningless if you're making lots of trades. Think about it like this. If you make 12 trades over the course of one year, then those 12 trades are really freaking important, right? Like if you make 12 trades, then yeah, of course, you got to get the direction mostly right or you have to get 
um, you know, your entry really good. You got to get really good pricing on those things. But what I say is like, if you can make 150 to 200 trades in the course of a year, so take those 12 trades and break them down into smaller chunks over the course of that same year, then what you end up doing is you end up averaging all the way around the market the entire time, right? So now you're not so worried about getting the direction right just 12 times a year. Now you're trading so frequently that you're moving with the market as it moves up, right? So let me kind of explain this concept because I just did this in coaching session today and worked out really well. So let's say that the stock is moving like this, right? Okay, wherever the stock is going, right? If you make 12 trades a year, let's say that your first trade is here, right? You do a neutral trade and it's one big trade, right? So you have, you know, 20 contracts, 30 contracts, whatever, right? So you sell a call, right, above the market and you sell a put below the market. Well, now that trade basically carries you until the next expiration period. And then you make another big trade based on where the stock is at expiration, right? And that trade carries you until the next expiration period and you make another big trade until we get to that point, right? But during this entire time, you have a lot of directional risk. You've got to really get the market direction right, right? I mean, you're making 12 trades a year or even 30 trades a year, something like that. It's really important that that trade becomes very, very successful, right? And you don't have enough trades to let the probabilities work themselves out. So what I say is do this. I say instead of doing 12 trades a year, make little incremental trades every single day if you can, right? If you can't, I get it. Like, your job, your work, your family, everything, right? You can't make, you know, lots of little trades every day. I get that, right? But try to make more trades than not. So every day that the market moves, now you have the market up here, you make another trade where you move up your strike prices, maybe a dollar. And then the market has a big jump higher. Great, make another trade and move your strike prices up. And the market just keeps going and it moves up here. We make our, you know, sell our strikes and the market's here and here. And so we're just averaging around the market. We're moving our strikes the entire time as the market's moving all around us, right? So that's the whole idea of doing this. And when you do that, you basically average around the market. You follow the market the entire time. So as the market goes up, your average contract strike prices go up. As the market goes down, your contracts kind of average down. And it's a much, much better way of trading, okay? So hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you guys have any questions, obviously, shoot them in the comment section right below. I would love to help you guys out. We'll be jumping here on Facebook Live um, again, either, well, maybe on later on tonight, late uh, tonight, because I'm going to be up doing some stuff on the website or uh, definitely tomorrow. So if you guys like this, obviously give me the thumbs up, the hearts, whatever you guys like to do, and uh, please share it and let me know what other kind of videos you guys want to see. Until next time, happy trading. <music>